Hi, I'm Karen Carnes, Chief Clinical Officer of Interim Healthcare. I'm really excited to bring information to you that the, the full complement of courses for wound management program, they're now available on the Learning Center. You know, efficient and effective management of patients who have wounds in the home, that demand continues to grow. However, not all of our clinicians are knowledgeable of current standards of practice for wound management, or they're not able to apply their knowledge in real life settings. You want to make sure that you have competent clinicians who, who are able to take care of even the most complicated wounds in the home. Because if they're not, both your patients and your organization is at risk. My colleague, Lori Purcell, she's at the courthouse right now and she's observing the wound care malpractice trial of the century. Lori, what can you tell us? Thanks, Karen. Yes, the trial is wrapping up now and the jury is going into deliberations. I was able to capture the most compelling parts of the testimony on my cell phone for you. Yes, it was infected. Not only was there no physician's order for debridement, but such an act is contraindicated by the standards of practice for managing wounds in diabetic patients. Your Honor, I give you conclusive proof in Nurse Dementico's own words that Mrs. Crater's amputation was a direct consequence of an infection caused by this nurse's negligence. I have nothing further for this witness. Get her out of my sight. Thank goodness, Interim Healthcare assigns only knowledgeable and competent clinicians to care for their wound patients. This is Lori Purcell from WIHC reporting. Karen, now back to you. Thank you, Lori. Don't expose your patients to substandard wound care. Visit the Learning Center to see what resources are available for your clinicians. It's current, informative, and just a little bit of fun.